Hey all, this is Blaine with Stocks for Beer Trading, and we're looking at the watch list for August 13th. Um, Sirius Satellite Radio basically played this thing for a few cents last week over 240, and now I'm looking for a follow through over 250 to see if we can't get another uh, another 5 or 10 cents out of this thing. Research in Motion, um, R I M M. Two possible plays here. We'll zoom in this thing. Uh, basically what I'm looking for here is either if it falls back through 8, it's a potential short towards 750, but if it breaks through 850, then it might be worth taking it long towards 9. Um, Quantum here, QT, QTM, broke above 150 last week, decent pattern here off bottom that broke out. Now basically the play for me is if it opens relatively weak and then and then uh, sees that follow through through um, about that 162, 163 area. So you follow through back towards this 180 spot. As you can see there's definitely room higher um, after this major fallout in July. Um, that's basically the, the play there. If it, op if it gaps up I probably won't bother with it but if it opens relatively flat or even below 162 and then look for it to go um, higher. PSTI, watch over 440. Daily chart still trending higher. Definitely needs 440 to continue going higher. Uh, if it gaps over 440, tough to really justify a buy per se, but uh, it might be worth looking to a short if you get a, if we get a quick spike over 440. More about this in chat tomorrow. PCS um, definitely been consolidating here for a while, and you know how I like these things. If they they pop and then consolidate, it definitely is a signal that there's still buyers ready to to buy it. And most likely, those that try to short this thing are still hanging on and could get squeezed out if it can bust through these highs from back in late July. So this is definitely a br breakout trade there if it goes. NCIT, let's take a look at this thing for the past year. Um, as you can see, gap down from about 11.50 to 8 back in January. Um, this company got a contract with the uh, military contract actually worth about 150 million and their market value right now is only 100 million. So you do the math. Um, if it can get through 8 this week, it definitely has room to the upside to 11 or so. Manchester United went public on Friday. Um, tanked. Not necessarily tanked, but they had a heck of a time keeping this thing up at 14. After hours Friday, it was down to 1380s. Um, if, if you could find shares to borrow to short this thing, I wouldn't... Um, be surprised to see this go lower at all this week. Uh, just kind of like the Facebook deal, really. I mean, Facebook underwriters prop theirs up pretty heavily that opening day at 38, and then it fell off after that. Same deal here. I mean, they held it up today, uh, Friday at 14 uh, all day. I mean, it started with a 300,000 bidder, and then by the end of the day, there was almost a million shares on the bid at 14. I mean, so whoever bought those, I mean, the underwriters, obviously, but um, they're going to end up having to take the loss. They just wanted to prop it above the 14 and the IPO price, so it didn't look so bad. Nonetheless, uh, I'm short biased here on Manchester United. Um, Lee. Uh, Warren Buffett got into this thing a while back, hence why I think this is one, that was one of the big reasons why it, it kind of soared back in June. Uh, nonetheless, if it can get back through 140, 150 area, um, and volume increases again, needs needs that volume spike. If that volume can come in and get through 140, it, it could get another run in it. GFA, solid play off of that three mentioned in watch lists um, last week. Uh, got you 20% even, it hit 360. So now basically I'm looking for that follow through. If it can get over 360, it might head towards um, 380 or 4. EDU, I'm still holding 100 shares of this thing from. Uh, remember this tank from 15 to, what was it, 15 to 7 or something? Well, it gapped up to like 10, 
1035, 1040 ish. I'm holding 100 shares there from about 10, mid 1040s. Um, now, watch this over 13. If we zoom in, 60 minute chart. Um, past three months, 60 minute. Oh, it's not going to do it. Nonetheless, there it is, a little better view there. So if it get over gets over three or thirteen, I think this thing probably heads back towards fourteen or even fifteen where this um, gap down area in the tank started off of. CPRX been consolidating here. It's even making trying to make some uh, higher lows. So if we can get through this one fifty area. It might break out higher this week. And ALU finally trying to get through 120. This is just a much slower play. Um, as you can see, it, it just, I mean, it takes forever to actually move anything. But nonetheless, there's still room to the upside here with a gap to fill towards that 140 area. Uh, LQMT and OTC stock that I've been watching, we've been, we've been, Watching this thing forever, played it a couple times back in the day. Um, what I'm looking for now, it's finally broke through that 30 area that had been consolidating just below for a while. Um, I would not be surprised to see this thing through test 35 or 36, which could be key to get another run going here. Uh, volume, a little bit of volume increase there on Friday. It definitely needs to have another volume day. Preferably uh, tens of millions of shares traded there to get these kind of runs, but um, nonetheless, keep an eye out for this thing to get over 35, 36 this week. So there's your watch list for August 13th. Let me know if you guys have any questions, and I will see you guys in chat tomorrow.